Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading from March 28th through April 3rd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. I'm trying to put her to bed. Because otherwise she's going to play with my toys. And you don't want that. Do we now? Sleep. Let's see. The overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Pentacles, stability. You're trying to reach stability. I feel like you're kind of heading in that direction, to be honest, possibly with somebody else. Um, in the recent past, the Death card, the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. Well, a love situation seemed to be coming to a close, and then there you are on your own, independent, doing your thing. Okay, so things are pretty clear in there for now, before we clarify. In the current situation, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. There's a little bit of my way or the highway kind of attitude in here, and a little bit, not not extreme not yet but somehow it does balance things out Some, somehow it does work to bring things into so it could be that this tactic may be pushed onto something so that things fall into place it's like if i don't approach things in this manner then it might be all chaotic around here you know so who knows doesn't feel like it's a bad one. Uh, in the immediate future, the King of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Page of Swords. Well, love is shown up, but I don't see you necessarily responding to this love. I, uh, well, just a little bit. You're responding, but just, just a tiny little bit. Like you see it, you're like, okay, love is here. Let me give to it, but not, not much. Not much, not right now. Hmm. Uh, let's clarify. Let's see what the hell is going on here. Let me see the Ten of Pentacles. Oh. Page of Swords, Seven of Cups, The Lovers. Uh... Uh, bum, 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 bum. Things got twisted very fast in here. Um, dum. The Page of Swords, I see it in this place of receiving love. You're responding to this, but not with much, because I see a part of you kind of keeping yourself open for something bigger. Um... Almost like it feels good that I get this energy. And I'm going to respond to it because it feels good. But at the same time, I know there's something bigger out there for me. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It could be in the in the uh, context of you have love there. And you're not opening up because in the future something bigger might pop up. You know, kind of respond to what's being given in the moment. Because you don't have the guarantee of the future. So, I don't know. Nat, Juno just gave me some little hairs around my nose. What is that? There's a whole lot of birds showing up today in the yard. I'm trying to see what it is, but I can't tell if it's either a blue jay, which one was here earlier, or a robin. Can't tell. Sounds like a robin, but it looks like a blue jay. Um, for the death card in the recent past, you get the Ten of Wands, the Hermit, the Page of Wands. Yeah, it's like... 
all this time through this connection, through this situation you you were dealing it with and you're still dealing with the same situation by the looks of it, um, it feels like you were in charge. You had the power to stop it or make it go, to give or to not give, to, you know, uh, it's like you were in charge. Not that you knew that necessarily. It's not a conscious choice like, oh, you know, I can do whatever about this. Uh, and it feels like, almost like a burden that you get to decide, you know. But overall, I see you open, though, for it, even though it's shut down whenever you decide. I kind of still see you keeping yourself open to it um, because there is love there. Definitely there's love there on your side. Let's do the Nine of Pentacles in the recent past. Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands, the Death card. A lot of overthinking, a lot of going on in here, up here about the situation. But overall, the, the conclusion to it all was, okay, I'm done with this one. But I feel like you were done with it, not because of whatever was happening necessarily, but because whatever was happening was causing you to have a lot of thoughts about it. A lot of scenarios created about the situation. And when you got to the point of, oh, too much, bam, it's done. It's out the door. That's why it feels like you almost had control when to press that button of down. Um, it's, it's done. It's out. It's whatever, you know, boom, pressing the button. But all you were doing was pressing the button onto your own overthinking, basically. Not necessarily. Well, it did come out as you saying yes or no to the situation eventually, but let's do the Queen of Swords in the current situation. Excuse me. I'm working. Excuse me for disrupting your grooming. For the Queen of Swords, you get the Knight of Wands, the Star, the Five of Wands. There are certain things you're feeling about the situation that you're not allowing yourself to feel. That's why it feels all the time, to me at least, when I look at this reading, like you're tuning into logic and then you're tuning out of it. Then you're pulling yourself out of it, but not necessarily stepping into the feeling of it. You know, when you do pull yourself out of the mind. Let's do the Six of Swords in the current situation. The Judgment card, the Tower, the Two of Wands. When you go, you never really go. You go physically, but you don't go anywhere energetically from this situation. What I see with the judgment and the tower, though, is that all of this conflict that's happening, I feel like it's more yours than of the situation. Um, but it's there for you to work through it, for you to heal. And I feel like there's a whole lot of healing going on in the background. Like you're not seeing it. For you, it could, it could all show up like, I'm tired of this. I keep on wanting this and then not wanting this and then thinking about it intensely and then not reaching a conclusion and then kind of screw it all away and then kind of going back to it because I can't help it and you know it could show up like that but in the background there's a whole lot of healing going on um which you're not gonna acknowledge yet but overall I don't see it going anywhere let's do the six of pentacles in the current situation, you get the Justice card, the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Yeah, and things are, ironically, starting to settle down within this connection. Which tells me that things may start to settle down within you or within them. Because it takes one to change the dynamic of the connection. And then the other person is kind of going to be led on by the other energy. It's going to be pulled in the direction of the other energy. Um, as to the King of Cups in the immediate future... Three of Cups, Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Definitely the desire of love is shown up here quite strong. Um, what's preventing this love to come through, to come to the surface, is someone's pain. Even though they have this desire of love, they also have pain that is unhealed. I don't know where this pain is shown up from, but it's there. 
and it's not allowing this love to come through to come to the surface good news is somebody's working on it or trying to trying to let's do the three of wands in the immediate future the temperance the eight of cups the page of pentacles You're showing up as almost, oh, Saggy, and I feel like I'm going back to the same story with you. Um, you're not allowing yourself to go deep. You heal, but at a very surface level. You're not allowing yourself to go deeper than that. Um, and it's like the minute you healed something, you're probably stepping into this whole energy of, well, I healed that. I'm good. You know, I, I get to have a vacation for a few months because I healed that aspect and it feels like it was a good one. It was an important one. So let me take off from healing for a little bit and then I'll come back to it. Um, doesn't really work like that. Oh, man. It's like when things are okay, when things are feeling good, you may be stepping into this uh, preconception of my work here is done. If it feels good, then I must have done something right, right? So why, why go any deeper? Why go? Because whatever you're not touching and you're not addressing and you're not healing, which could be in the context of whatever shown up as more balanced, but at a deeper level, it's going to show up eventually because it's not healed. So it will show up later on. Um, you keep on showing me a pulling away from healing. For the Page of Swords, you get the Nine of Cups, the High Priestess, the Four of Wands. Just like these energies that you're pulling away from healing, um, are showing up here at a deeper level your true saggy is there with those energies so it, it's like you're not touching those energies of depth of healing those but you're not also touching your potential through that you're not reaching your full potential which is a whole lot more than what's shown up now you know you're doing great with what you have great but there's so much more to you and it's buried with in you somewhere you know with all of these energies that you don't want to look at because they're too very too deep and it's like let's let's not touch them uh, then you're not necessarily touching that full potential of yours you know let's see what the universe has The devil, the three of swords, the four of wands. You've got a, and, and again, I feel like it showed up for you in the past. Uh, you've got a, a whole lot of pain attached to commitment. A whole lot of pain attached to commitment. Not to this commitment that you're dealing with. It's not about that. Even this commitment may be bringing in that pain, may be bringing it up for you. It's not, it didn't start from here. It wasn't created from here. This can grow that pain or help you go into that pain. It's really up to you how you're going to take whatever it is you're dealing with. But your wound, your pain is tied up to the concept of commitment. And that's where you don't want to go in deep because you may be scared of what you'll find in there, scared of the unknown of what's in there, you know? So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.